Hello friends, welcome to our channel. So in the previous session we have seen a block cipher encryption algorithm that is DES data encryption standard. So in that DES the, the size of the plain text is a 64 bit and the size of a key is 64 bit and the cipher text is processed in 16 rounds where in each round we have to use a separate sub key and the sub key size is 48 bit so from the 64 bit key we have to generate 16 48 bit sub keys so so that we will process each key in each round so we will use the each key in the each round so in the next session i mean in this today's session let us have a look on one more block cipher algorithm that is aes algorithm advanced encryption standard aes algorithm so aes stands for advanced encryption standard so similar to the des algorithm here also the plain text is processed in blocks so that means here also there will be a block size so we, we will not process the entire plain text to the cipher text first the plain text will be divided into different blocks so uh, at a time we will process each block so here the block size is 128 bit 128 bit block size that means here the plain text and next here also we will use a key in each and every round and similar to the des algorithm aes in aes algorithm also the plain text is processed in number of rounds to get the cipher text so here the number of rounds the plain text is processed is 10 rounds 10 rounds so in the des we are performing 16 rounds and in each and every round we are using a separate sub key here also we have to use a separate sub key in each and every round so the master key the key size here is 128 bit the key size is also 128 bit but here the keys the, I mean the key is processed in terms of words in terms of words so here the word means 32 bit one word is equal to 32 bit so 128 bits are processed in four words or we can say it as 16 bytes four words or 16 bytes so here the key size is 128 bit which is processed in terms of words or bytes in terms of words we will say it has a four words if we are representing in bytes it is a 16 bytes so here number of keys number of sub keys number of sub keys we are using a 44 sub keys 44 sub keys so each of size each sub key size is 32 bit or one word 32 bit or one word so or we can say it as four bytes anything we can represent in bit, word, bytes. 
So 32 bit or one word, one word is 32 bit, four bytes, that means four into eight bits, so 32 bit. And in each round, we are going to use four keys, four sub keys. Each round, we are going to use four sub keys. That means the size of key in each round is four sub keys. That means four into 32. That means 128 bit or four words or 16 bytes. So we can represent in either bits or words or bytes. So in each round we have we have to use four sub keys. So total how many rounds? Ten rounds. In each round four sub keys. Total forty sub keys. So before starting the round function, we have to use four more words. So pre-round calculation. So for in the pre-round calculation, we will use four words. That means one, sorry, one sub, sorry. So four sub keys will be used. That means 128 bit or four words or 16 bytes. So total we are using in the 10 rounds, so that means in each round we are going to use a 4 sub keys, total 40 sub keys. And before starting the round function, we have to perform this, we have to apply this 4 sub keys. We are going to use this 4 sub keys in the algorithm. So total 40 plus 4, 44 sub keys will be generated. So once again, the block size of this advanced encryption standard is 128 bit plain text. So, which can be processed in similar four words or a 16 bytes. And the number of rounds the plain text is converted into ciphertext is 10 rounds. The key size is 128 bit again, which is represented in four bytes or a 16 bytes. And the number of sub keys used in this algorithm are 44 sub keys. And the size, the sub key size is 32 bit or one word or four bytes. And in each round we have to use a four sub keys. That means the size is 128 bit or four words or 16 bits. So 16 bytes. And before applying the round function, we have to use a four more sub keys. So totally four into ten. 40 plus 4, 44 sub keys will be generated from the master key 128. So, this is all the summary about this AES algorithm. So, finally, the ciphertext. The ciphertext will be obviously 128. Which is again 4 words or 16 bytes. So this is all about the summary of algorithm. Now let us move on to the block diagram of AES algorithm. First of all, consider the plain text. So, which is 128 bit, which is 128 bit and this is applied to add round key so we have to apply the add round key that means just XOR operation so here we will use four words so that means a key one key let us represent k0 okay 
k0 which is in terms of words i mean if we represent in terms of words we can write it as word 0 to word 3 so word 0 1 2 3 three word four words so that means one key 128 bit so after applying this add round key next we have to apply substitute bytes substitute bytes so which we call it as yes boxes in our DES algorithm here the substitute bytes are equal to s boxes and after applying the s boxes so first i will write the a block diagram I will draw the block diagram then we will move on to the each and every operation so what will be happening in this s boxes and what will be happening in the add round key and one one by one we will see first before that first we will see the block diagram so first a substitute bytes so which is s box here also the input is 128 bit and the output is also 128 bit here after the s box we have to apply shift rows shift rows so here the shift rows means just applying the circular right shift operation just we have to apply the circular right shift operation and after this here also the size will not vary 128 bit is the input and output also 128 bit next after coming from the shift rows we have to apply mix columns mix columns here we have to multiply with a predefined matrix so a matrix is a predefined so 4 by 4 matrix and we have to consider uh, one word and we have to multiply that particular word with the predefined matrix and the resultant will be stored in the another thing so that is mix columns and the output here also there is no change on the size of the bits the size of the input is a 128 bit and the output from this mix columns is also 128 bit and the output will be again given to add wrong key where we have to use the key 1 which is w4567 so four more words we are using so this process this process so this box this complete box is a round one the complete box is a round one so we have to repeat the same process for 10 rounds in each round we have to use the separate sub key so for before applying to this round function we are performing the add round key where we are using four words and in the round one we are applying next four words in the second round we have to apply so round two we have to apply the words from 8 to 11 so 8 9 10 and 11 in the round 3 again we have to apply 12 to 12 13 14 and 15 similarly in the round 10 we have to apply w 43 42 41 and 40 so 42 40 Three. So total 44 words will be used in our 
AES algorithm. So these 44 words are generated from 128-bit key. Hope you understood. So this we call it as K2, K3 and so on K9. So 0, 1, 2, 3 and so on 9. So this is the single round function in AES algorithm. So we have to process this round function 10 times that means 10 rounds. So in each and every round the first step is applying to the substitute boxes and the output from substitute box will be given to shift rows and the output from shift rows will be given to mix columns and the output from mix columns will be given to add round key. So by adding this round key the first round will be completed. So in the last round I mean in the 10th round a small change will be there. There we need not apply the mix columns. So we will apply only three processes, three functions. First one S box, next shift rows, and directly we can add the, I mean, we can perform the add round key. So in the last round, only in the last round, in the tenth round. So for all the nine rounds, we have to apply the four processes. So S box, shift rows, mix columns, and add round key. In the second round also we have to apply the 4. Only in the 10th round, that means in the last round, we can ignore the mix columns. We need not perform the mix columns. So I hope you understood this block diagram. So let us continue with the each and every process. So before going to each and every process, first let us look on about the representations. What about the representations? Here the 128 bit plain text is stored in input arrays. So here the input array is represented as 4 by 4 table. In each, I mean in each and every column is represented as 1 byte. So, Input is stored in input array, so which is a four by four table. Four by four table. Here we can have input zero, input one, input two, input three, input four. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 and 15. So this is how we will represent the plain text. So here the each column represents 1 byte. So total 16 bytes. So 16 bytes, so which is equal to 16 into 8, that is 128 bit. So intermediate results are stored in state array, which can be represented as S00. S10, S20, S30. Similarly, S01, S0, sorry, 11, S21, S31. Similarly, S02, S12, S13, S14. Similarly, oh, sorry, sorry. 1, 2, and two, 2, Similarly, 3, 2. Yes, 0, 3, 1, 3, 2, 3, 3, 3. So, this is the 
state array where the intermediate results will be stored. So here this representation is also 4 by 4 that means 16 bytes. So in each block the size is, I mean each column the size is 8 bytes, I mean 8 bits, right? So 8 bits means 128 bit. Total size of the state array is 128 bit. And similarly, the output will be stored in output array. Similarly, output array. So which is again 4 by 4. So output 0, output 1, output 2, output 3. Similarly, output 4, output 5, output 6, output 7, output 8, output 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So, this is the output array which is again represented in 4 by 4 table. So, each column represents 1 byte. So, total we will get 128 bit. So, input array is stored in, I mean input is stored in input array. So, each block will be consists of 1 byte. So, total 16 bytes that is 128 bit. So, all the intermediate results will be stored in state array. This is called a state array. We, we will call it as a state array. State array, so which is represented as S00, that means 0th byte of 0th word. So, this is the word. So, this one is the, the first column. So, this column is a one word. It's, it is treated as a one word. So, zeroth byte of zeroth word, first byte of zeroth word, second byte of zeroth word, and fourth byte of zeroth word. Similarly, the zeroth byte of first word, zeroth byte of, I mean, first byte of first word, second byte of first word, third byte of first word, zeroth byte of second word, first byte of second word, second byte of second word, third byte of second word. Similarly, we will consider each column as a one word. So, this totally four words. So, this is the state array. This is the output array. So, state array is used to store the intermediate results. Similarly, so all these are the representations, right? So, similarly, key. What about the key? So, key also 128 bit. So, the key is also stored as 4 by 4 table. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So, this is the key. So now this 128 bit from this 128 bit that means it is a 128 bit or we can consider it as a four words four words so this is the first word second word third word fourth word first word second word third word and fourth word so this four words we we, we have to generate 44 words. So, from this, we will expand the key with column W0, W1, W2 and so on, W43. W43. So, this key is expanded to 43 words. So, this 
So 43 words, sorry, 44 words. From 0 we are starting, total 44 words. Where 40 words are used in 10 rounds and 4 words are used in pre-edition. So for, from 4 words, we are expanding to 44 words. Right? So now, so this is the how this is how we will represent the data in AES algorithm in terms of words. First, let us take the substitution bytes. So here the substitution bytes is S box, so the implementation of X box. So the here the input of S box is so we are considering. So first box, I mean first eight bits will be considered as input and this 8 bits will be calculated I mean in S box in the DES algorithm we are considering 6 bits as input for S box and 4 bits as output from the S box there we have seen the first bit and the last bit representation I mean the decimal value of the first bit and the last bit will be representing the row number and the in between 4 bits representation will be in the column number and we, have, we will consider the corresponding value and we will again convert into binary so that we will get the 4 bits output. Here from the 8 bits, first 4 bits is represented with row number and the next 4 bits represents the column number. First 4 bits represents the row number, second 4 bits represent the column number. So that's why again, so what is the maximum number using this 4 bits? It is 16 or 15, right? So 15. So 0 to 15. We can represent the numbers from 0 to 15. Here also 0 to 15. So here the 15 is represented as F. Here also F. We can represent it as an F. Right? So the output is also 8 bits. So the input here for the S box is 8 bits and the output is also 8 bits. And this 8 bits again saved in the state array. So this is the state array. This is the input array. So consider the first eight by eight bits. From the eight bits, first four bits will be representing the row number, and the next four bits represents the column number. So the size of S box. So size of S box is 16 by 16. The table with 16 by 16. So in the DES algorithm, we have seen the size of S box is. 4 by 16 that means 4 rows and 16 columns but in the AES algorithm we are representing first 4 with row number second 4 second 4 with the column number so we have to use 16 by 16 table in the S boxes so this is 16 rows and 16 columns and the remaining procedure is same we have to get the corresponding value of from the S box and again we have to convert into 8 bits. So this is all about S boxes. So I will show you the here. So this is the representation. So this is the input representation 4 by 4 table. This is the state array 
representing s s00 s10 s20 and so on so this is a state array to store the intermediate results and this is the output array to store the output and here the key also represented using a four words so each column represents one word so four words and from the four words we are expanding it to 44 words from w0 to w43 so this is the key expansion so coming to this yes boxes so consider one block and 8 bits that means one block size is 8 bits in the 8 bits first four bits are represents the row number and column number so this is the s box that is 16 into 16 s boxes that means 16 rows and 16 columns so corresponding value we have to get so again the representation will be in 8 bits and we will save it in the corresponding word number i mean row, block number so this is the s box in aes algorithm so 16 rows and 16 columns so if you consider if you consider that the example these are the 8 bits right so if you consider these are the 8 bits from the s box input first represent a row number second four represent column number column number so row number is 0 column number is 5 we have to get the value from 0th row 5th column so here in this example see so 0th row 5th column it is 52 0th row 5th column it's a 52 so the result is 52 which is again converted into 8 bits that means 0 1 0 1 0 0 1 0 so this is the output from s box with a value 0 0 0 0 0 1 0 1 so this is the input of s box and this is the output from the s box so this will be staged i mean this will be stored in state array so according to this we have to find the output so we have to apply the same procedure for all the blocks with 8 bytes so first consider the first block with s1 s00 so find out the corresponding output store it in the s-00 next find consider the s10 and find the corresponding value and store it in s-10 similarly we have to find out all these things so like this we have to apply the s box in aes algorithm so after completion of s box the next process is shift rows so let it be yes 0 1 uh, sorry 0 0 yes 1 0 so that means a first byte of first word so 2 0 yes 3 0 yes 0 1 yes 0 sorry 1 1 yes 2 1 yes 3 1 yes 0 2 yes 1 2 yes 2 2 yes 3 2 yes 0 3 yes 1 3 yes 2 3 yes 3 3 so this is the state array input for s box and the output will be stored in another state array called s dash so s dash 10 
so just representation is different so input is yes and output is yes dash so this is only for s box and this will be given as input to shift rows so shift rows the next process is shift rows so in this shift rows depends upon the row number we have to shift the rows so if it is row 0 we have to shift the 0 bits circular right shift we have to perform circular right shift so if it is row 1 1 bit is shifted if it is row 2 2 bits are shifted if it is row 3 3 bits are shifted so if you observe here so this is the state matrix which is given as input to the shift rows so 0 0 1 0 2 0 3 0 0 1 1 1 2 1 3 1 and as it is the first 0 throw 0 bit should be shifted so this is the output after performing the shift operation so no change because as it is the row number is 0 we should not shift any bits so it is a 1 bit circular right shift it is a row 1 we have to perform 1 bit circular right shift so after circular right shifting 1 bit so the output will be s11 yes, 1, 1, 1, 2 1 3 1 0 so here 10 1, 1, 1, 1, 2 1 3 after performing the circular right shift 1 1 1 2 1 3 and 1 0 and coming to the second row 2 bits we have to shift so initially it is 2 0 2 1 2 2 2 3 and after performing the right shift it becomes 2 2 2 3 2 0 2 1 and it is a row number 3 3 bits we have to shift right shift so before applying this shift operation the value is 3 0 3 1 3 2 3 3 and after performing the shift operation we will get 3 3 3 0 3 1 3 2 so similar way we have to perform the shift operation so we have to apply this shift operation based upon the row number row number 0 0 bits row number 1 1 bit row number 2 2 bits row number 3 3 bits and the result will also be stored in shift arrays so this is about shift rows and after applying the shift rows next we have to perform mix columns the next process is mix columns mix columns so initially again consider the mix columns so take the state array so this is the output for the shift rows and this output will be considered as input to the mix columns consider this and consider each column as one word and take one word and apply the multiplication operation with the predefined 4x4 matrix and we will get again a one word which is again stored in the state array so here the predefined matrix is 2 3 1 1 1 2 3 1 1 1 2 3 1 1 1 2 3 3 1 1 2 so this is the i mean th this one is the matrix and consider each column and perform the multiplication so it is 4 by 4 and it is 4 by 1 so if you apply the 4 by 4 order with 4 by 1 the constraint for applying this matrix multiplication is the columns of first matrix should be equal to rows of second matrix so the columns of first matrix is equal to columns rows of second matrix the constraint is satisfied so we can perform this matrix multiplication so that the resultant matrix will be 4 by 1 so we will get again 4 by 1 which is again stored in state array so this we have to consider from this is one word and this is also one word that means each column see so each column is considered as one word 
applied with the predefined matrix so we will get again a 4 by 4, 4 4 by 1 which is again stored in first column of the resultant state array consider the second one apply the multiplication stored in the second column of resultant array third column apply the matrix stored in third column of resultant matrix i mean resultant array and the fourth column again perform the multiplication and save in the fourth column of the resultant array so in this way we have to apply the mix columns so after applying the mix columns again the state array that means the result from this mix columns will be given to the add round key where we have to add four keys so here the next process is add round key so where we are adding here adding means xor right here adding means performing the xor operation xor operation with state array which is output from mix columns xor with key so which is again 32 i mean four words so again consider a column as one word consider one word from state array and first word in the key perform the XOR operation so i will show that see here so consider so this is the state array that means the output from mix columns the output from mix columns so consider this first column as one word XOR with the first word of key and stored in the first column of the resultant array consider the second column as a second word XOR with second word of key and stored in the second column of resultant array third column as a third word XOR with the third word of key and stored in the third column of the resultant array consider the fourth column as one word fourth word and XOR with the fourth word of key and stored in the fourth column in the resultant array so here in each round we are using four words so as we have seen in the first diagram as we have seen in the first diagram see here so in the first round we are applying from word 4 to 4 7 word 7 so here four words in each and every round we are using four words so in the state array also we are using four columns each column considered as a one word so XOR each column with each word and store in the resultant array so this so after applying this round key the first round will be completed so we have to repeat all these four steps in 10 rounds 10 times and in the 10th round we need not apply the mix columns we need not apply the mix columns so before applying to the first round first we have to add the key that means 0 to 3 word 0 to word 3 we have to apply the add round key so hope you understood this so initially we are using add round key 0 to 3 and round 1 words from 4 to 7 similarly in the round 9 uh, sorry round 10 we are applying words from 40 to 43 so total 44 words we are using in our AES algorithm so uh, briefly I will explain once again so that you will be will, will not get confused so first take the plain text 128 bit apply the add round key where we will apply the four words and then the output from this will be given as input to the substitution bytes 
which is called S box and the output from this S box is given to shift rows and the output from shift, shift rows is given to mix columns and the output from mix columns is given to add round key. So coming to this S boxes, so consider the S box, consider the S box, here the S box, the input for the S box is 8 bits and the output from the S box is 8 bits. So in that 8 bits input, first 4 bits will be considered as a row column and the next 4 bits are considered as a column column number, row number and a column number. So we will get the corresponding value and again we have to convert it into 8 bit representation. So similarly we have to consider each 8 bits and convert it and again store the result in the resultant state array. So this is the S box. So after applying the S box the output will be given as input to the shift rows. So it depends upon the row number we have to apply the circular right shift so row 0 0 0 bits will be shifted and first row 1 bit will be shifted second row 2 bits will be shifted and the third row 3 bits will be shifted so after applying this shift operation we have to give the input to the mix columns so here in the mix columns again we have to apply So we have to consider each word and apply the, perform the multiplication operation with the 4 by 4 predefined matrix and we will get one by 4 by 1 resultant which is stored in the first column of resultant matrix. So similar in the, in the same should be followed repeated for every word. So after applying this mix columns we have to apply the add round key. So here we have to apply the four words exalted with each word in the resultant array. So consider each word exalted with each word and store it in the each column. So consider this column as one word. So I am once again repeating. Consider the column as one word. Consider the first word exalted with word zero and I mean the first word of the key we are in the key we are using four words the first word of the key and resultant word will be saved in the first column of the resultant array so this is an example for s boxes so here the s box in the s box there are eight i mean four bit representation for row number and four bit representation for column number that means 16 columns and 16 rows will be there so total 256 entries will be there and similarly first find out the row number find out the column number and find out the corresponding value and convert it into equivalent binary which is 8 bits and initially the input is stored in input array and the output is stored in output array and the intermediate results will be stored in state arrays Right? So hope you understood this uh, AES algorithm, don't get confused. So once again just go through the video and if you are having any doubts regarding this AES algorithm, feel free to post your doubts in the, our comment section so that I will try to clarify your doubt early. If you like my videos, share my videos with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching my video. Thank you very much.